I'm ready. I'm ready to talk to the millions of ultra. Hi guys. Um, my name is Maria and I run a nonprofit in Clarksville, Tennessee called Art Link. And I am also a stencil artist with a clothing line called Sock Hair and Saviv. Creativity is um, probably one of the most important aspects of my life for me to function, not to just survive, but to thrive. Um, let me explain. So I found creativity in a very low point of life and I was really hurting and going through just a really rough patch. So a friend of mine wanted me to stencil a wall in the town that we were living in. And I'm like, what is stenciling? I had no idea what stenciling was. So I give it a shot and they just showed me this really unique creative outlet where I cut out a design on this certain kind of paper. At the time, we just did it on cardboard. And then you go out to this wall and you spray paint this design. And when you peel that design back, it's revealing the coolest thing. And um, I think because it has multiple layers, has multiple facets, it just started peeling the layers of my pain and what I was going through away as well. So going through all of that and having that creative outlet truly helped me through a really stressful time in my life, a really chaotic time in my life, and I know that it can help somebody else as well. The thing is, for me, I have a really hard time focusing, and I found that my creative outlet has multiple facets, but one of them helps me with focus. So I'm a stencil artist, so that means I cut out stencils, and the most, like, I guess therapeutic and revitalizing aspect of it for me is having the ability to focus my mind on just one thing. So following my blade and cutting out a design and forcing myself to focus on one singular thing really helps me kind of isolate all of the crazy things that are going on in my life. All of the 75 to-do lists. I'm sure you guys can relate to all those sorts of things. Um, but sometimes it's really hard to slow your mind down and to focus on one thing so then you can actually do that one thing really well and move on to the next thing. So for me, I have found that when I hand cut out each and every stencil that I do, it actually forces my body to do that because I have to be looking at what I'm doing. So I'm using sight. My hands are focusing on where that blade is cutting in a very precise way. I have to do it slowly enough so my cuts are very precision. And then I'm feeling the whole thing too. So I'm using multiple senses on one isolated thing, which forces your brain to slow down get rid of all of the mumbled mess around and to kind of just really get something that you wouldn't normally get on your normal everyday to-do list because you're now able to focus on something in an isolated manner. So it's just one aspect of my creative outlet that helps me kind of be more productive because if I can slow my brain down and do one isolated thing like that, I now can move on to the next thing and have a bigger, larger scale perspective on it because I've been able to kind of control my mind and my thought process and my focus in that way. So every stencil like I had showed you um, is hand cut out. After the design is hand cut out, I get to paint it on a shirt. This is actually the funnest part for me. Um, my mind is kind of fresh and clean and I get to actually just kind of take the paint and let the colors do their thing and kind of have a lot of fun with colors. There is no rhyme or reason to it. There are no rules. That's another cool thing about having a creative outlet. You're not inside a little box forcing you to have to color in between the lines. So that creative outlet that I had discovered Besides knowing with all my heart that I know that God had given it to me for a reason to help me through a really low time, I feel like also he gave it to me for once I was healed to help other people. So now I love to just pour into other people in a creative way, 
give them a creative outlet, give them a different perspective on what creativity is. A lot of people think they're not creative at all. However, we're all creative, every single one of us. You just have to figure out and tap into what your creativity is. So once you have discovered that creative outlet that you just love to do and you're just gonna dive right in, you're gonna allow yourself to have something super awesome. I like to call them brain breaks. So we all wanna be more productive at work. We all wanna be less stressed, all of those sorts of things, right? Well, good news, your creative outlet is the ultimate source for that. Dive into your creative outlet and you will not only have a brain break, but you will de-stress your life in multiple ways and you'll be more productive at work. Like everyone wants to be more productive at work, especially your boss, right? And no better way to be more productive than if you give your brain the ability to be more productive. You dive into your creative outlet, it's going to de-stress and defog all of the things that you're thinking through because now you've been able to revitalize and rejuvenate. So then you can go back into your work zone and you can be as productive as humanly possible. So, so tell your boss, I said, you're welcome. <laughs> all right. So that's all that I have to talk to you about today. I really hope that some of the things that we talked about are helpful and that you're able to take them home and utilize them and... I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.